This paper is about identifying a new target of a drug that has been used uh, in the market for decades. The chemical name of the compound is Meclizin. This compound was actually um, it's a first generation antihistamine compound. It was synthesized actually in 1950s, so it's a very old compound. And uh, this compound was originally identified uh, in a screen, in a drug screen, designed to, to discover compounds or drugs that inhibit mitochondrial or that modulate mitochondrial respiration. So there is a way to do this thing. I, I have a protocol. This particular uh, meclizin, although it has antihistaminergic activity, is, is known to be antihistamine, but it, it has this unique property which allowed it to be used for the treatment of nausea and, and motion sickness. Not all antihistamines can be used for the treatment of you know, nausea, motion sickness and vertigo. And so there is a unique thing about this particular antihistamine actually. When we saw a hit um, in our drug screen, so we were kind of excited about this, that wow, this actually affects cellular oxygen consumption or, or respiration. Certain diseases, uh, diseases like stroke, heart attack, even neurodegenerative diseases, where it has been thought that if you can down-regulate mitochondrial respiration, it could be beneficial. The way uh, many of the cells die during this heart attack or during this stroke is that death is sort of coupled to respiration, mitochondrial respiration. And so the idea was that if we can tune it, tune it down, the respiration, then it will prevent death. And we showed this using this particular compound, we showed it in multiple models of heart attack, of, of stroke, uh, even Huntington disease. What we found was that this particular enzyme, which is inhibited by meclizin, has been proposed to be an important target for the treatment of many diseases, including infectious diseases like malaria, African sleeping sickness. Um, and then this pathway has also been proposed to be a critical pathway for the you know, uh, aberrant proliferation of cancer cells. So clearly, this drug has many potential new uh, applications.